హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ మన త్రివాటి పిక్లియర్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ ఇన్స్టాల్డ్ బిఎం మషిన్ అండ్ దట్స్ నాట్ బుటింగ్ అప్ యూ కెన్ సి ఇట్స్ నాట్ బుటింగ్ అప్ ఇట్స్ సేమ్ ఇన్ దాట్ ద ఫైల్ నాట్ ఫామ్ సో ఐ ట్రై టు ట్రబుల్ సూట్ అండ్ సి వట్ యూ కెన్ డూ ఫ్రమ్ హియర్ uh see uh, here you have full self option you have the main um, uh, <coughs> main boot option os option so what i'll do is i'll uh, what i can do is uh, i can uh, do uh, you know uh, do e to edit and then come here you can see that uh, the init id the highlighted the uh, line uh, which specify the init id uh, it uh, doesn't have a full path so so what i'll do is i'll edit it and then i'll do a do the reboot and then we'll see how it goes now we can see that it is uh, uh now correct uh, the default spelling is correct and uh, we can uh, press b button which will boot the machine with the following path and we can see uh we'll see like if it goes through we see yes it can uh, now go through uh, the booting processes Uh, but uh, this is not a permanent solution you know uh, now the server comes up or I will do is I will do login so you can see the server has come out of successfully but i'll do is i'll go to the boot count and you can see <coughs> there is a file here if you go to boot grab then you know now here you have a large something called main dot lst you can do the cat Here you can see that you have a problem with this line so next time you boot it would be stuck in the uh, same location where it was stuck so we can what we can do is we can uh, again uh, do that uh, do a reboot and see you know, how it behaves I have said to you that uh, it is the same issue so in that uh, uh, file not found so what we can do is uh, like we are uh, stuck in the same position because we didn't do a permanent entry into that so uh, like there is another way to do it uh, you know like uh, here I can find out that uh, the file name is not good or not Uh, for um, right uh, but i think that uh, you have some problem where uh, you would like to find out what to be the file to, uh, file name in it and file name or kernel file name uh, if there are multiple kernel or any daddy images available in uh, in your system so uh, we will do that way So let's uh, do a C for comma line here in the grub, grub and uh, here uh, 
uh, what we can do is uh, we can train what you know, what is our you know, uh, our root location. So what you can do is uh, find the stage one location that is uh, find boot grab uh, stage one and it's showing us that as D zero one. So what uh, we'll do is we'll set uh, root to it and then uh, only see uh, what next step to do. I'll find out what the exact we need that email name is. Okay, and we'll set uh, manually uh, to that uh, manually uh, the initiality image uh, uh, location and then we'll boot the machine. Now what I can do is I can set the root that is that is the is the zero comma one. Yep. Now the root has been set. What I uh, can do is we can set the kernel that should be is the zero comma one then so to give root grab and uh, you can give so you now you can see uh, what are the kernel images uh, available here okay and that you can choose the kernel image you want to so I have one kernel image available so let me choose that in and what we need to do is we will have to set the we need to add the image so what I'll do is I'll do a image add the and we need to add the should be st 0 now 1 we can boot now the unit attribute is also set so what we can do is we can do a boot and now we will see how it behaves ok you can see now the system is back but we still have the problem uh, like uh, we still have that uh, um, you know that uh, e is that uh, uh, t missing over there so we'll try our method to uh, like we can directly edit that that's possible uh, otherwise we'll uh, try to reinstall the glob and see if that has any effect okay so what I'll do is uh, not do uh, yast to boot loader mm -hmm. to boot loader and here I'll go edit I'll go and change here but what I'll do is I'll do from here Go to boot go to the right image, go to the right image here. So we have set our initial RAM disk. All is okay. All is okay. Now we can see the changes now. 
will do a redundancy now then spare now it should come up automatically Okay, you can see uh, the server has come up uh, after the changes automatically. So, thanks for watching this video. Bye bye.